What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you step by step how to unlock the crossbow in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Let's go. Yeah fam, so playing Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, I've seen a lot of players use this weapon and I always wondered how do I get it? So I'm going to show you right here step by step how to do this man i just know this video is going to get at least 50 likes man because i'm i mean it, this weapon is a game changer once it gets unlocked man so here's how um you unlock it now before we actually go ahead and unlock it i'm showing you guys really quick this thing is a game changer guys you can see at close range you're gonna take out the armored zombies in one arrow and it is it's just a game changer man and a little bit further away it'll take two shots but close range even these level twos not gonna have an issue and of course i have pack a punch level three and legendary um upgrade it and of course put an ammo mod in the slot and it's gonna be unstoppable so guys now i've heard different ways um i have heard that you can get it through mystery boxes but that will take a long time guys man and you may not even get it the first 10 tries also completing missions in the red zone but still random the guaranteed way i'm going to be showing you guys is 50 long shot kills using marksmanship rifles let's go all right guys so here's my attachments really quick now of course i don't have hardly anything unlocked but uh, for the barrel, you definitely want to use this one barrel right here because it gives you some good range for them long shot kills. And now for the maps, Estate, guys. Estate right outside the greenhouse. Looking out, you're going to get a bunch of long shot kills. This is on the other side of that greenhouse. Looking at that little, uh, like a, looking at that shed or that farmhouse or whatever that is, you're going to get a lot of kills. And honestly, guys, even when I didn't get long shot kills, man, I had so much fun using this gun. It's just so much fun. I don't know what it is about this gun, man, but it's just it just was really fun to use. And now, this is on the other side of the estate, looking at that same shed uh, behind that fence. I'm gonna get a lot of kills. Now this is inside of that shed, looking out uh, towards the map. And as you can see, you're going to get long shot kills for freaking days, man. I got so many kills with this. All right, guys. So once you start using this weapon, getting marksmanship rifle kills, you will, of course, start unlocking some attachments. And just to let you guys know, I'm only level 12 on this gun. And these are the attachments that you see right here. This is how I got... 50 kills with this weapon in a quick amount of time so starting with the left the barrel cast 10 584 millimeter mod barrel is the first barrel that you unlock and it does a really good job guys especially as you can see with the damage range giving you those long shot kills is critical so that's the barrel now for the muzzle, I like to use this on a lot of my guns. It does such a good job on recoil. It's the one that's an upside down triangle. The Stir 45 Sky Fury Compensator L. Another favorite under barrel of mines that I use heavily on assault and uh, battle rifles, the SL Skeletal Vertical Grip. It's like the see-through looking one. Um, it just does such a good job that I pick, I use it on this marksmanship rifle, and it does good as well. And we will go to the range with this just so you guys can see how phenomenal it is. Now, for the magazine, did nothing with the mag. 10 rounds was good enough. The rear grip, this is a really good grip. The FSS Storm Mender Assault Grip aim down sight speed because with a lot of these other attachments um you kind of bring down your aim down sight speed but this compensates for that and last but definitely not least now i like this sight the aim op dash v4 
I like the reticle. I like everything about it. Um, and as you can see, it gives a little buff on the range as well for those long shot kills. And yeah, guys, man, let's just take this thing to the range as it is. I'm going to show you guys, man. Check it out. Close range, of course. You know what I'm saying, guys? Medium range. Now, I'm going to reload just so I can have enough. But you're not even going to need all that. Guys, man, look. I mean, look, bro. Come on, fam. Damn, man. I fucking love this gun, dude. Look at this. <laughs> guys, man. All right. I, I'm done with the range, guys. But I just want to let you guys know um, the attachment that I used to get these 50 kills going forward. Now, let's get back into the act. All right, guys. So, another really good map to get these easy long shot kills is terminal man i had a lot of fun getting these long shot kills even when i wasn't getting freaking long shot kills i had some fun with this now this is the area castovia airlines i got a lot of kills in this little area kind of tucked away in that bottom right hand corner in this little office room looking out tons of long shot kills right here and the security area i went prone on top of one of these like baggage scanners like at like you see at the airport i sat here and got like 16 kills <laughs> god i'm not even yo god yo no ca guys no cap i'm telling you you're gonna get you tons of freaking long shot kills if you just go prone and sit lay right here on one of these freaking uh security scanners guys i'm telling you i sat right here and got like 16 ki 16 kills on this one game guys <laughs> guys man i'm not even gonna cap guys like i'm not a multiplayer type of guy all the time but i just might be getting into more multiplayer all right guys so another good map is afghan inside these caves looking out and also up here up top that high elevation point is a really good place and i don't know what it is man like i said when i wasn't getting long shots and just having to having to like do what i have to do i had so much fun man so let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see more multiplayer because i had fun with this getting these long shot kills and regular kills man it was it was really fun guys so now after you get these long shots when you go to the marksmanship rifles you're gonna see that you unlocked it and that is how you unlock the crossbow guys all right guys so now just to show you what this crossbow can really do it really excels in the high threat area especially when you have it um have a pack of punch level three and an ammo mod and i don't have it on this one but i have used it with legendary um upgrade and it does extremely well uh with the legendary upgrade as well not to mention that but try to use the deadshot daiquiri now i don't have it in this particular gameplay but in the beginning the first video um i did have that deadshot daiquiri and what it does when you aim down the sights with aim shot uh, or uh dead shot daiquiri uh enabled it automatically will go and aim down the sight to the critical uh weak area of any enemy so that's really good with this crossbow man so honestly man i had a lot of fun even grinding to get this gun now of course like i said um, I've done research online and a lot of people say you can get it uh, doing uh, missions in the red zone and mystery boxes. But, I mean, who has time to sit there <laughs> and try to try to find it in the mystery box? It just, it'll just take a long time, but guaranteed 50 shot marksmanship kills, man. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, fam. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more multiplayer style gameplay. And if you guys are looking for more tips and tricks in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, check this video out right here. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.